Hello friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Professor S.P. Singh from Faculty of Management Studies, Gurukul Kangli University, Haridwar. Today we are going to study Module 25 on Qualitative Research Questions. After studying this module, you shall be able to understand the formulation of research questions, know the nature of qualitative research questions, understand the process of developing research questions. The qualitative research begins with the formulation of research questions. It is the first and central step which essentially determines the success in qualitative research. However, it usually ignored in most presentations of methods. The researcher is confronted with the formulation of research questions not only at the start of the research when the study is conceptualized but also has to deal with the formulation of research questions at various stages of the research process. These stages include at the time of conceptualizing the research design, at the stage of entering the field, at the phase of selecting the cases, and when the data is collected, continually reflecting on and reformulating the research questions serve as the pivotal points of reference for evaluating the appropriateness of the decisions taken at different points. The research questions should be formulated in concrete terms so as to clarify what the researcher desires the field context to uncover. The more clearly the research questions are formulated, the more it will reduce the risk of finding the huge amount of data at the end and face the difficulty in analyzing them. Nature of Qualitative Research Questions Reflective Process The idea of qualitative investigation is a reflective process. The methods representing the microscopic details of the social and cultural aspects of persons' lives, which are termed as behavior, are at the center of the qualitative research. The researcher has to inquire into the human behaviors and their importance. The credibility of the researcher depends on the specifics of a place and the people inhabiting that place at a particular time. The degree to which the researcher is able to clarify on occurrences in such places and the types of men characterizes the worth of the researcher. Qualitative inquiries involve asking the sort of questions that concentrate on the causes and ways of human interaction. Qualitative research questions then should specify what a researcher needs to know about the intentions and perspectives of participants of social interactions. The purpose of qualitative inquiry is to grasp the viewpoints of the actors in order to understand interaction, process, and social change. Therefore, the ongoing process of questioning is an integral part of knowing the lives and perspectives of the participants. However, changes in questions also need to emerge from capacities of the researcher to inquire into their own roles and perspectives in the process of inquiry, particularly concerning their position in relation to participants. Good qualitative questions are commonly developed or refined during all phases of a reflective and interactive process of inquiry. To consider the research questions as tools for navigation helpful to a researcher outline possible directions and inquire about the unexpected. Types of questions. According to Laughlin and Laughlin, various types of questions are 
the type of question it is, the structure of the question, the frequency of occurrence of the question, the causes of the question, the process of the question, consequences of the question, people's strategies of the question are. The process of developing questions. The process of developing questions involve certain steps, beginning the process. Researchers often begin thinking about a study long before they develop their research questions. Most of the researchers begin thinking about a study based on a deep interest in a topic they have already begun exploring. Good questions can come out of initial curiosity or ideas for a qualitative study. But at the initial stages, most questions are in rough form. They may attract more specific questions that assist to create the focus required to go forward with data collection. Developing an overarching question. There are several advantages of developing an overarching question. A broadly framed question can serve as a platform for starting and emerging sub-questions. A single overarching question permits a researcher to catch the central goals of the study in one major question. A clearly stated overarching question can provide direction for the study, design, and collection of data. It offers potential for developing new, additionally specific questions during data collection and analysis. Sometimes these broader research questions are stated as goals for the study. Developing sub-questions and new questions. Sub-questions can take several forms depending upon the focus of the overarching question. Cresswell described issue and procedural sub-questions, although some questions may overlap these categories. Both types of sub-questions emerge from an overarching question and require the specifics of a phenomena. These sub-questions make the broader focus of the overarching question somewhat narrow. The development of new questions, especially sub-questions, often occur during the process of inquiry, sometimes during collection and analysis of data. Sometimes researchers construct a series of questions that emerge from one another as data is collected. The focus of sub-questions helped the researchers create different protocols from personal and group diaries to interview collection of kinds of data that would discover the actor's perspectives about their personal and professional lives. Theory and questions. Theory is inseparably connected to research questions whether the theory is shaping them initially or suggesting new questions as the study proceeds. An overarching question for various qualitative studies will indicate some theoretical constructs that frame the study. Those tentative theories and the questions that result from them may very well evolve to adjust data collection or preliminary findings. Some researchers propose that a theoretical framework should provide the research questions for case research as the theory assists to define the selection and case parameters. As researchers design a study and protocols, theory often shapes the methods in clear ways. Qualitative questions should embrace theory either explicitly or implicitly for giving direction and framing particular ideas. Theory also caters as a conceptual tool to move an inquiry forward into deeper levels of understanding. 
reflexivity and ethical considerations. A part of the process of developing questions in qualitative research is being reflective about how the questions will influence participants' lives and how the questions will place the researcher relative to participants. This aspect developing question is often not given due attention. However, it is a central issue when a researcher proposes to study the lives of others, especially marginalized population. Thinking of ethical issues commences in the reflective process and moves forward into the formulating questions, designing a study and writing it. Well-crafted qualitative research questions can address sensitive topics and pursue issues that are of importance to a field of study. Developing qualitative research questions should include careful thought about the direction of the inquiry, lays the researcher relative to participants and what the implications are for the lives of the participants. Writing good qualitative questions. There are certain features of writing research questions for a qualitative study. These features include focus, special context, and an iterative and reflective process. Focus. One important characteristic in writing initial question is focus. A question can be compared to a tool like a steady cam lens used to record an event. In the beginning stages of the study design, the researcher utilizes the steady cam to frame an ever-changing broad landscape and then narrows down the focus to frame and follow a specific set of events or actions in the broader terrain. However, terrain is a specific place with a dense, rich history. Specific context. Several initial attempts at question development create overly broad questions lacking reference to a specific context. However, the continued revisions of questions help refine the questions and add a specific context to the process of inquiry. An iterative and reflective process. The process of focusing questions is a repetitive, reflective process that takes not just to data, but to specific data that can add knowledge to a larger field of study. The importance of the questions to the field should help to shape the writing of research questions. The qualitative questions should reflect the particularities of one's study. Friends, in this module, you have studied the formulation of research questions, the nature of qualitative research questions, and the process of developing questions. Thanks for visiting EPG Partshala.